do a lot of creepy things. Girls can't get creepy. Yeah. Luckily, not, we aren't creepy, but girls can be. <laughs> I walk through the grocery store sniffing men. We're like hunting dogs. We will remember a scent. Girls who smell guys' boxers are gross. I've heard of that happening. When you spend the night at a guy's house, you seem to always want to take one other piece of clothing. Because, you know, they bundle you up in cute clothes and you just kind of, oh, I'm going to take this. And then you go back home and you like smell it, like re-visualize the moment. And then you keep it and they're like, hey, where are my shorts? I'm like, I have no idea. I don't know where those went. So when guys fantasize and think about women, they think about like their bodies and like having sex with them and stuff. And in my mind, when I fantasized, it would be like sitting down on like our house and like paying bills. Fantasies about like uh, our kids are like where they're going to college and like uh, who's gonna die first? Like if it's him, like what am I gonna do? Am I gonna have kids? Like what if my kids are assholes? Like what if nobody's like what if there's no one there to take care of me? I'm gonna have to find like one of those like country club nursing homes where they just have like arts and crafts all day. Maybe it's just me, but I like to take pictures of guys when they're sleeping. Taking pictures of guys sleeping. I like to take pictures of my husband while he sleeps. Because at first I think they're real cute and I want to show them, but then he turns over and he sees me and he's super creeped out by it. And, and it was all pure in my heart. And then it just turns dark suddenly. And then I think of that picture. I think of that picture whenever he's made me angry and how I want to blast it across social media. And like if they did that to us, we would probably think that was super weird. 100%. Yeah, but we do it to them and it's okay. Which is kind of messed up, but it's sorry about it. <laughs> Every, every woman has their arsenal of, um, of just shit. They're ready to drop at any moment against a guy. You know, a few simple posts here and there, and his life is basically destroyed because he got me the wrong color sprinkles at the grocery store. Some girls get close with the mom, the guy's mom, um, without kind of letting the guy know. Like, we'll call her and establish a relationship with her. It's just like a really creepy, like, reach around way for the girl to like kind of, it's like manipulative and creepy. They'll leave their earrings casually behind so they can kind of text them later. Be like, hey, I left my earrings. Oh, I'm gonna have to see you again. So that's something I've never done, but I've witnessed it and it's creepy and weird. I am very particular and pay very close attention to what men are buying at oh. the store. <laughs> Grocery store, Walmart, I don't care where you are. Mm -hmm. I'm judging you by what's in your cart. Yep. What kind of choices are we making here? Do you here? need three pounds of Doritos? If you have multiple, like if you have beer and wine and a lot of different things, you probably just gotta have a breakup. Is he buying a car air freshener and a bottle of like paint remover? Mm -hmm. What are you trying to get rid of in your car, buddy? Yeah, what are you doing? I guess this is a creepy thing that I do. So I have a dog that I really love and I have a voice for her. Um, yes, I would like that very much. If you could um, <laughs> just pick me up and give me a little pit. I love it. I do it in front of guys all the time. There's an app you can put your face with your a guy's face and make a baby and see what your baby would look like. That's creepy as, as fuck, too. My baby with John Samos, by the way, is really cute. Like, extra cute. Dimples. I hope he's gotten my letters. <laughs>